Hi, my name is Beth from My Tutoring Bee, and today we're going to be doing a redo of one of my oldest and most popular videos, Lattice Multiplication. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to work on this multiplication problem, 271 times 43. Um, and I chose a three digit by two digit number so that I could really show you how to set up our boxes that we're going to use for our lattice multiplication. Because we have a three digit number by a two digit number, I want to create a rectangle that has three squares or rectangles inside of it by two squares. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with a nice big rectangle here. And as you can see, I'm using graph paper. I really like to use graph paper for a lot of different kinds of math problems, but it really makes setting up these boxes easier. So as you can see, I've got two long rectangles going this way. That's going to be for my two digit number and then I'm going to split it up this way into three sections. So something like that. And you can get really uh, detailed with it and count out the squares if you want to, um, but I'm going to just go ahead and set it up like that. All right, and so this is for my three-digit number going across the top here and my two-digit number going across the, the side. So let's go ahead and write those numbers in. So I've just got 271 going across and then 43 on the side. All right, so uh, with lattice multiplication, we're going to be uh, kind of working diagonally uh, once we get all of our numbers built in here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, X out this top left corner and the bottom right corner. And some students like to put in dots here uh, on all of the other corners that where the lines cross so you can do that that just kind of helps to line it up because we're going to draw some diagonal lines through all of these boxes and so let's go ahead and do that and i would recommend using some kind of ruler or straight edge to do this so i'm starting at the at any dot that's in the upper right hand corner and going all the way through and past my bigger rectangle uh, and it should extend out beyond down here below, as well as over there to the side on the left. You don't have to be super long, but just enough. We're gonna be writing some numbers in, the, in this area here outside. So that's why we want them there. Um, okay, so we've got all of our boxes set up. So now we're going to start multiplying. And in my original video that I did 10 years ago on this, I got so many comments about how long this method takes to set up all the boxes and how confusing it is. Yeah, I think that this method does take a little bit longer than the standard algorithm. Um, however, this can be a really great visual tool for students who are struggling with that standard algorithm. It really gives them the scaffolding that they need to know where to put all of the different numbers. Okay, so here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to multiply any of these numbers on the outside and the sections where they meet is where we're going to put their product. So let's go through a couple of examples. One of the great things about this lattice multiplication method is that you can start in any box that you want to. You don't have to go in a specific order. So you can start here with uh, one and four. Let's go ahead and do that. One times four, that gives us four. Whenever we have a single digit product or single digit answer, we do want to write it as two digits and put a zero or something in this place. Some people maybe like to put an X there. Some people will just cross it out. I like to put a zero there. Uh, we definitely want to put the four down in this lower little triangle of this uh, square. Um, just so that uh, it represents 0, 4 and not 4, 0, because that would be 40. So we want 0, 4 here. Let's go on to this box here. So 7 times 4, that gives us 28. So since that's a two-digit number, we can just put each of those digits in uh, each of the little triangles there. 2 times 4, that's 8. So again, a single-digit number. We're going to just go ahead and put a 0 there as a placeholder and then the 8. Now let's drop down here to this box. So we're gonna multiply one times three. So that's, this is the area where those two match up. So one times three is three. Again, a single digit number. So we've got the zero as a placeholder. 
7 times 3 gives us 21, so we're going to put the 21 there. And then 2 times 3 gives us 6, so we're going to go ahead and put the 6 there. Okay, at this point, I like to recommend to my students to go ahead and just cross out or scribble out these numbers on the outside of the rectangle, the numbers that we use to multiply. Because we're going to start adding these numbers, and we don't want these to accidentally get added in to what we're about to do. So uh, just a, a little recommendation there. We're going to start over here in this section, this little triangle down here, the very bottom right, and we're going to add any numbers that we have inside our rectangle, and then we're going to put that sum outside here. That's why we have those lines extending out past the rectangle. So we've got just three in this section, so we're going to go ahead and drop down a three down here. We actually, we're going to go ahead and drop a three down here. All right, so now we're in this section where we're adding up 4, 0, and 1, okay? So that's going to go down here. 4 plus 0 is 4, plus one more is 5. All right, now we're going to go to this section. So see, we're just, just like we do when we're adding normally, we're starting from the right and working our way left and um, and adding up all those numbers. We're just kind of looking at it diagonally here. Some of my students call this sliding down the mountain, which I think is really cute. So you're just gonna slide down and count up all of those numbers and then put the sum here. With this, we've got zero plus eight plus two plus six. Well, eight plus two is 10 and then six is 16. Since we do have a two digit number, just like when we're adding with the regular standard algorithm, we're gonna go ahead and write the six here and then carry the one up to the next place value. All right, now we're going to add up all these numbers in this diagonal section. So we've got a one, a two, an eight, and a zero. 2 plus 8 is 10, plus one more is 11. So we're going to write down that one and again carry that one over to the next, to the next place value. And then we've got 1 plus 0 is 1. All right, and so we're done. This is it. This is our product. 271 times 43 equals 11,653. All right, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on lattice multiplication. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Have you used this method? Have you seen this method? Have you heard of this method? Um, and also don't forget to like and subscribe. That really helps me to keep making these math videos for you. I will see you next time.